Thank you for joining me here at Pilates Workouts Online. Today we're going to be doing a quick warm up using the Pilates Arc. So I have the Pilates Foam Arc here, and we're just going to use that to help warm up our body. This could be done as a standalone workout or something that you do prior to jumping on the reformer or maybe doing some weight training. So hit the subscribe button and that like button. And also, if you're looking for more ways on how to use the Arc in your self practice, visit me at PilatesWorkoutsOnline.com for my Pilates Arc training. I'll include that link down down below and let's start moving with the arc. We're going to begin standing facing towards the arc. So I just have the arc on the floor and the seat side is closer towards my body. We're going to stand facing towards it and we're going to reach our hands up to the ceiling with a deep inhale. As you exhale, dive over your beach ball around the spine and then reach your hands towards the center of the apex of the arc here. We're going to lift our toes up, bringing our body forward into a plank and then we're going to pike our hips up, pressing back down to the heels. So lift the heels, round your spine, come forward into your plank, and then pike yourself up and press back on the heels. Let's do that a few more times, focusing on the breath, lifting up through the hips to come back into that pike, so for that lift of the pelvis to the sky. And let's do one more time in each direction. On the last one, we're gonna hold out into our plank. So as you hold into your plank, we're gonna take one foot step forward, you're going to take that foot onto the apex, the top of that arc, and then that hand on that same side of that foot, I'm going to take that and twist and rotate open to the ceiling, looking towards my pinky finger, and then come back down. Twist, rotate open, and back to center. And maybe take an exhale as you open, or maybe try that inhale, filling up the lungs with air, so see what feels better for you today. And just keep reaching back to that opposite heel, so that foot on the floor, you're just reaching that heel back. Feeling some activation through that thigh. Let's do two more. And on that last one, we'll come back to center, take your hand back to the arc, step that foot back, hike your hips back up, press back in the heels. We'll come forward back into our plank, step your other foot forward, find your balance here, and then take that hand, twist, rotate open, and back to center. Twist, rotate open, and center. So again, just think about that back heel reaching back behind us. As we move here, opening up through our thoracic spine and our hips. And again, maybe play with that breath. Maybe you can inhale as you open, creating more space into the ribs, or exhale as you empty out your lungs. Let's do two more. And now on this last one, we'll come back to center. Take your hand back to the arc, step the foot back, hike your hips back up. So just lean back into those legs. And let's come forward in that plank once more. So from here, we're gonna let our hips come down. We're gonna open our chest, look forward into a slight extension, and then we're gonna lift back up into our plank. So you're gonna slowly let the hips drop down, lift your chest, lengthen the neck. So the neck is then going back like this. You still have length in the back of the neck, and then lift back up into your plank. Let's do two more. Open the chest forward, and back to plank. One more. And then find your plank, pike your hips back up, walk those toes in, and then take your time as you round your body back to upright. Let's turn to face away from the arc. And then come down to seated however you need to. I'm just gonna take my feet parallel, sit bone distance apart, and then as slow as I can, I'm gonna sit down until I find the arc. <laughs> and so I'm actually at the lip of the seat. So I'm not down here where it's a little more comfy into the well of the arc. I'm at the edge of the seat at the lip. So from here, we're just gonna move our pelvis. We're just gonna do a little tuck of the tailbone back and then come back to upright. Tuck the pelvis, roll back and upright. So as we come upright, let's add a little extension. Coming up, lifting the arms, lifting the chest, bring the arms back down and then tuck the pelvis back down. <laughs> and we're gonna keep those feet connected. So just take your time as you move, find that length and a little tuck. Feel that mobility through that lower spine as we move. Let's do two more. Good. And then let's hold down. And as we hold down, we're just gonna stay here for a moment, take a deep inhale and exhale. One more time, deep inhale and exhale. And then I'm gonna take my hands back behind me and I'm gonna scoot myself back. So now we're more into that seat of the arc, right there at the crevice. So we should feel that arc back behind us on our lower back. 
So kind of the same thing, we're going to tuck the pelvis, roll back. This time we should be able to go, go a little bit further and then come back up. Tuck the pelvis, roll back, and then back to upright. So think about almost pressing in the arc to help you come back up. Pressing down into the feet. We're going to make this a little bit of a bigger range of motion, but honor your body. See how this feels for your upper back and neck. We're going to roll back, start to reach the head and the arms overhead. Circle the arms around, chin to the chest, and then come all the way back up. So tuck the pelvis, roll back, reach the hands and the head overhead. Fan it in a stretch, and then you're going to bring those arms out to a T. Chin to the chest, press down into the arc to come back up. We're going to add on one more tape time, we're going to add in the legs. So as I start to go back, I'm going to start to reach my legs out. I'm going to lift my hips up out of the well as my head is connecting onto the arc. And now I'll come back to upright, lowering the butt down, and then bending the knees back in. Let's round our spine back, reach those legs out, lift the hips up, and then take your time as you come back to upright. And so as those legs reach out and your hips lift, feel a squeeze of the butt to help lift those hips. So you're getting a little bit of opening through the front of the hip. And then come back up. Let's do that two more times. Find that connection to the breath. Good. And one more. And then we'll come back to upright. So we're just going to turn to sit sideways. And as we sit sideways, I want to scoop back so my butt is at the back edge of that arc. And then I have this leg um, bent to my side. My front leg is hooked against the arc. I'm going to take my hand to the arc. and I'm going to slowly reach over, reaching overhead. And then I'm going to glide myself back up. So just starting nice and gentle here, glide over, reach that top hand overhead, and then come back to upright. Let's do that two more times like that. Slowly down, and back up. Good. <laughs> and one more. Good. And then we're going to lower down over the arc. We're just going to hold there for a moment. And so as we hold there, I'm going to take my bottom hand and grab my top wrist. I'm going to give it a little bit of a pull. I'm going to rotate my torso towards the arc, and then I'm going to rotate my ribs towards the ceiling. So rotate towards the floor, and then open up towards the ceiling. And just find that connection of your breath as you move. Let's do a couple more. On that last one, we'll come back to center, and let's take those hands behind the head. So I'm making this a little bit more challenging. So to make this nicer, keep that top hand in front of you. We're going to lift up and then lower back down. Lift up into our side bend and resist it back down. You can also take the hands behind the head. That's going to make it a little bit more challenging. So having that hand in front of you will give you more support. And just focus on the breath. Let's do five more. And also think about that length as you come down, almost like you're reaching your elbow over the arc as you lower. Let's do two more. And then after this last one, we'll lower down. I'm going to prop myself up onto my forearm. So my elbow's below the shoulder. I'm also working to not lean into the arc, so I'm lifting that rib cage up off the arc. I'm going to take my top leg, I'm going to reach it out straight. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to sweep it forward and sweep it back. Reach the leg forward. Reach it back. Pressing into that arc with your top hand is going to help to give you a little bit more support here. And just focus on the breath, reaching back into that hip extension as the leg goes back. <laughs> let's do two more. And let's hold that leg a little bit behind us and let's draw a small circle. Small circle. We'll inhale, deep exhale. Let's do two more. <laughs> and then reverse. Go the other way. Two more, and then bring that leg down, bend that knee back in, press yourself up to seated, reach to your ankle, and then reach the hand overhead, finding a side bend. Breathing into this lung, deep inhale, and full exhale. Good, we'll come back to upright. So before we do the other side, let's just sit facing straight ahead again. So we have the arc behind us. I'm gonna take my hands on top of the arc, my elbows are bent, but I'm also hugging the elbows in towards each other a little bit. I'm going to press in my hands and my feet. I'm going to lift my hips up into our reverse plank. 
And then I'm going to lower my hips back down. So press into the arms, lift the hips up, and then resist as you lower back down. Now feel free to turn your fingers sideways or keep them straight ahead. So find what works for you in this position. Inhale. And deep exhale. Maybe squeeze into the glutes, press into the mat with the feet. As you come up, we'll do three more. Opening up at the chest. Two. One more. And then we'll lower back down. So we're going to turn to do the other side. I'm just going to flip the arc around. You can stay where you are. Or join me. <laughs> Good. So as you come here, we're going to take that leg in front of you so it hooks onto the seat of the arc. And the other leg is just bent to our side. So make sure you scoot far enough back so your butt is at the back edge of the arc. Other arm to a T. And let's reach overhead. Find our nice side bend. And then we'll glide ourselves back to upright. So glide over, reach overhead, find that nice stretch, and then come back to upright. And as you go over, maybe think about taking a deep inhale, so you're breathing into this top lung, and then back up. Let's do three more. Good. And we'll do one more. And then we'll just go over for that hold. So we're just going to go all the way over. Maybe take your bottom hand, grab that top wrist, give it a little bit of a pull. And then let's rotate our torso towards the arc. And then rotate looking up towards the ceiling. So rotate, look down. And rotate, look up. Think about moving through that upper torso, moving through that thoracic spine as we twist and rotate. Finding that connection to the breath as you move. Let's do two more. And then after this last set, we'll come back through center. And as we come back to center, we'll take our hands behind the head. Let's start with that top hand in front of us on the arc. So you're gonna press into that hand, lift yourself up, and then resist it back down. Lift up into that side bend, and resist as you lower. And as you lower down, it almost feel like this elbow is being pulled across the room. So you're creating some length as you go back over that arc. Maybe take the hands behind the head, both of them, <laughs> and then lift up and resist down. So you're still staying connected to the arc. It's not a huge lift. If you've ever done the side overs on the short box on the reformer, this is a great move to help prepare you for that. <laughs> Good. Take your time. Let's do three more. And one. We'll lower back down, bring that top hand down. Let's press up onto your forearm. So adjust the arm so your elbow is below the shoulder. And also make sure you're not lounging and sinking into the arc. You want to lift that rib cage up off. So it's almost like you're holding a side plank. Reach that top leg out. You're going to slightly lean the hips into the arc. Lift that top leg up. Sweep it forward. Sweep it back. So find that hip extension as you reach the leg back behind you. Staying connected to your breath. And seeing if you can keep that leg close to hip height <laughs> as it moves. So let's do two more. And then on this next one, hold that leg back behind you, just a little bit behind the pelvis, and then small circle. Small circle. Reach that leg <laughs> like it's being pulled away from your body. Let's do two more. And then reverse, go the other way. Lengthen that thigh, lift out of this armpit on the arc side. <laughs> it's easy to wanna to start to shrug into it. Two more, and one, and then lower that leg down. Bend that knee in, come back to upright, and then reach overhead towards your ankles away from the arc. One more deep inhale. As we exhale, come back to upright. So we're gonna to turn towards the arc. I still have this seat of the arc closer towards my body. And so from here, I'm going to bring the, my hips onto the top of the arc. And my toes, they're going to stay on the floor. But I don't want to let my knees just rest onto that seat of the arc. I'm going to press back through my heels so my quads lift. And so from here, making sure you feel comfortable. Feel free to wiggle forward or back if you need to. 
Let's see if we can bring the elbows up and then lower them down. Lift the elbows and resist down. Keeping the heels reaching back so your thighs are lifted away from the arc. And just finding your breath. Inhale. And exhale. And if you need to, you can always just start this with one arm at a time until so you feel more comfortable. Let's do two more. On the next one, I'm going to lower my arms down, open my arms a little bit wider, and then I'm going to see if I can lift both arms and lower. Inhale, lift, and resist it down. Find that little bit of back extension here as we move. Let's do three more. On the last one, let's see if we can hold the arms lifted, reach the hands towards your toes, open up to a T. Reach to your toes, reach those heels back, and then up to a T. Let's do three more. And then after this last one, bend your elbows, let your hands find the arc, press yourself up. I'm gonna take my knees into the inside, and then I'm gonna press back into my toes, and just sit back into a child's pose. One more full inhale here. And then as you exhale, take your hands back to the top of the arc. Press back into that down dog, into your elephant and Pilates. <laughs> Lean back into those heels. Good, hold here for a stretch. Take your opposite hand to your opposite ankle. Just hold for that twist and breathe. Come back to center, other side. Both hands back to the arc, and then take your time as you round your body back to upright, coming back to tall. Let's just reach those hands forward, up and around, deep inhale, and full exhale. One more. Thank you for joining me for today's quick warm up using the Pilates arc. So the Pilates arc is a nice tool to create flexion, extension, and also you can get into some side bending movements throughout your body. So it's a nice way to warm up your body prior to doing other forms of exercise or using it as a way to create a standalone workout. If you're looking for more ways on how you can use the arc in your self practice, visit me at PilatesWorkoutsOnline.com for my Pilates arc training. Hit the subscribe button and the like button and I'll see you guys back here soon.